Okay, uh, in this uh, video, uh, we are going to discuss how to prepare the bill of quantities uh, for the electrical items. Electrical or you can also include the, the IT as service. Now for the given plan below, now in, uh, this plan uh, is this one, the top view of the civil uh, building, civil layout plan. So this is the plan that we have. And then uh, we have to prepare the bill of quantities. In short, we are writing BOQ for supplying the items. Now, while preparing the bill of quantities, you have to prepare in two ways. One is just to supply the items. And then other one is to supply as well as to install the items. In this case, we are going to uh, sub, uh, prepare the bill of quantities for the supply, only to supply the given items. Okay, for this given plan, it's given that the total connected cooling loads required is uh, 15 into 74 watt fan, and then 10 numbers of two tons air conditioner. Here is 15 numbers of 74 watt fan. Okay, uh, now this is just for uh, the understanding. Uh, if you calculate the cooling load for that uh, building, it may not come 10 number of AC and 15 number of fan. I'm just giving you the example how to uh, prepare the bill of quantities. And then also the required uh, conduit HTPE uh, pipe is a 20 mm diameter of 125 meter. This is the quantity that we have. And then this is the specification that we have. The specification is 20 mm in diameter and the raw material is HTPE pipe. And then also you have again 25 mm uh, diameter of HTPE pipe. So the required quantity is 50 numbers. And then also you have to uh, prepare the bill of quantities to supply the conductors. There, there are two conductors that is, uh, that uh, they're going to use in that uh, given building. So you have 2.5 mm square and then 1.5 mm square. Now, whenever you're uh, preparing the bill of quantities for the conductors, especially the sub-circuit wearings, that uh, the measurement is done in a point wise. You have a short point, you have a medium point, you have a long point, and then again, we have the axis length, or we also call it as an axis point. Now, to qualify it as a short point, each the length of the conductor should be between zero to three meter. If the conductor is between zero to three meter, then we call it as a short point. Okay. Now, from where to where that we are going to measure? Now, in case of the 2.5 mm square, usually that 2.5 mm square is used between from sub main distribution board to the switch box. If the wear length from the sub main distribution board, which we also call it as a SMDB, from SMDB to switch box is between zero to three meter, then we call it as a short point. And then if it is between uh, three meter to six meter, then we call it as a medium point. And if it is between six to 10 meter, we call it as a long point. And if it is above 10 meter, then we call it as a axis length, or we also call it as an axis point. Now for axis point, you, our quantity is in meter. Whereas in case of the short point, medium point and long point, that the quantity will be in a point system. And also we have to uh, estimate the total uh, cost for the conductor for 1.5 mm square. Here also short point. Now in this case is measure that short point or medium point or long point. This distance is measured between from the switch box to the electrical fittings. Now, when I say about the electrical fittings, it will be either fan point or the tube lights or the incandescent lamp or uh, any other electrical fittings. So uh, keeping these things in mind, okay, uh, I'm going to uh, share the different screen. Please uh, uh, remember these things, okay, number, the number of quantities. Fan is 15, AC is 10, then we have uh, 125 meter of 20 mm uh, HT pipe. 
and then 20, 50 meters of 25 mm STP5. And then, okay, these numbers, okay, we're going to use while preparing the bill of quantities. Now, to prepare the bill of quantities, you also have to refer the uh, BSR, Bhutan Schedule of Rates. The latest one is 2018. So this one is available from the Ministry of Works and Human Settlement. Uh, in the B, uh, BSR, there are uh, two things. One is for the civil and other one is for the electrical items. So we have to refer to the electrical item. Again, in the electrical items, we have uh, two topics. Okay, I showed this one. BSR 2018. Okay, I'm sharing this one. Okay, let's go to home. Now, while using the BSR, okay, the cover page of the BSR is like this Bhutan Schedule of Rates 2018. Now, this one is prepared by the Minister of Works and Human Settlement. I think uh, we are not getting this uh, BSR yearly basis. In every two years, we'll get this PSR. And then, uh, now in electrical items, uh, electrical, to prepare the bill of quantities for the electrical, there are two tables. Now, to record this one, there are two tables. One is basic rates, and then other one is the built up item rates. Now, this one is just giving the cost of that equipment. Whereas for this built up item, this, this table will give you the uh, cost of the supply as well as the cost of the installation. Now ours, we are going to use this built up item rates. Uh, this one that we are going to use. And then with this, now we have to prepare the bill of quantities. So uh, let's prepare the bill of quantities okay, in the Excel sheet here. Okay. Okay, share. Okay, now this is the format uh, that we are using. The first one is serial number, and then the second column we have BSR reference number, and then description of the items, then quantity, then unit, then the rate, which is milton, then amount is a total amount, and then if there are any remarks that you want to add in the BSR. So let's prepare for our given items. Now, in order to prepare this one, okay, I've already prepared here. I will show this one and then I will explain. Right, okay. Okay, here. Now for the given uh, example. So in the first one, we have to supply the supply of PVC insulated single core 2.5 mm square copper conductor, 1.1 kV grade. Now this is the description that we have. If you're supplying the conductor, what kind of conductor that we're going to supply? So it says that we have to supply the PVC insulated, which is single core, 2.5 mm square copper conductor, which can support the voltage up to 1.1 kV. Now for the uh, BSR reference number, if you, now this is uh, this reference number we got it from the BSR. If you type WS0085 in the uh, in the uh, BSR, okay, okay, I'm sharing this one. So control F to find something. Okay, we have WS0085. Uh, so see here. Now for this one, this is the, I hope uh, you're into this uh, highlight one, WS0085, WS0085 is for the short point. So it says that a uh, wearing for three by five pin six ampere plug point with 2.5 square mm, 1.1 kV grid. So with this, it qualifies with our specifications. So we are going to use this one, and then short point, and then we have to take the cost of this one. Now, while taking the cost, we have different types of cost at different location. 
first one, this one, okay, I think whether it's here or not, let's see, okay. We have here the peeling, the pinceling, then gelifu, S jonker, and timbu. The other parts which are not mentioned in this BSR can refer which is nearest to that location. For example, in Paru and Wangdi, they can refer with the timbu BSR. And then for the Tashigang and then uh, let's say somewhere Tashiangti, they can refer some jungle spacer. And then which is again uh, that Kelifu is uh, applicable to nearby that Kelifu Zonka. And then again PL, the Pins like Chuka. Then we have uh, again uh, Samti, they can refer with that P, uh, that uh, Pinseling spacer rate. But uh, I'm not sure as per the uh, uh, Minister of Works and Human Settlement, this BSR is applicable, uh, for example, only with a 10 uh, kilometer radius. Uh, but uh, generally, we are applying with uh, the nearest zone. Hub. As per the MOH, uh, MOWH, and, uh, as per the Minister of Human uh, Works and Human Settlement, it's applicable only about the 10 kilometer of radius. So, but uh, uh, for convenience, they are using uh, which is nearby that zone hubs. <clears throat> now we have a WS0085 with this uh, short point. The cost is how much for Finsling? Okay, we, are, we are taking our location as a Finsling, we are taking uh, 1350.11. So, uh, so we have here short point, we have taken this one, and then medium point, this one, then long point, this one, and then remember to enter the quantities. For the 2.5 uh, mm, uh, short point is 10, and then long point, medium point is 19, then long point is five, then axis point we have 50 meter. So now this one uh, here, if check the formula we are simply multiplying this quantity and the rates this is how we are going to find the total amount and then similarly for the 1.5 mm square it is uh, for the short point uh, quantity of short point is 3 then we have 19 medium point and then long point is 12 and then axis point is 25 see here about the units short point medium point are all in point whereas for the axis point is in the meter. So how to find the axis point, the cost of the axis point? Uh, let's check this one. Uh, for the axis point, okay, here they're using WS0020. So for the axis point here, if you check here, WS0020, it says that Whenever we are uh, doing the short point, uh, whenever we are uh, doing this situation for the wearings, we have to multiply with the into two because we have life and neutral. Life and neutral times 2.5 mm, uh, mm square mm. So it, it goes how much? For this one, it is 74.22. So here we, uh, in the Excel sheet, also we have uh, 70, 74.22. And then similarly, you also have to check for the axis point for the 1.5 mm square. So it's coming around 45.94. And then, uh, okay, now we got it for the conductors. And then for the fan, now for the fan, it says that supplying of ceiling fan to 40 volt AC, 1,400 one RPM with all accessories such as download to 40 volt AC, okay, all the such download, swept, uh, three numbers, canopy, two numbers, condenser, and fan. Complete set. Now, it is uh, easy for the, the suppliers to see the brand. Here is a return, somewhat delight decor orient or equivalent Mac. So you cannot give only this brand. We have to give this brand slash equivalent Mac. If you're not writing equivalent Mac, then uh, you're not doing justice with other companies. So we have by any means we have to write the equivalent Mac. And then the number of quantities for the fan is how much? Uh, is 15. And then cost of that fan from the BSR is 
17, uh, 1722.11. So total is coming this much. And then for AC, the number of AC, we have 10. So the cost of each AC is 37,000 something. And then we got this much. And then similarly for supplying of 20 mm square, it's 20, not square, okay, this is 20 mm diameter. So, okay. Okay, now these are the specifications that we have. Now the quantity for this one, the 20 mm is how much? 125 meter. And then the second one is how much? For 50 is, okay, it's 50 uh, meter. So we got this and then to find the total works. Oh, okay, total works is how much? We got it, 78,000. 587.01 theta. Now with this one, you have to write it here. 78, not 78, I don't think it's 78. We have not uh, done the calculation. Okay. This form, okay, it's only that. This sum um, should be from G2. It is 16. So it's coming around how much? Five hundred seventy four thousand five hundred. 38 and 8 8 money. So be careful that while writing the uh, amount in word, we are not using the lag. Okay, lag is the Indian term. So it may not be applicable to the international. So we have, by any means, we have to write in this figure 574,000. 538 and 88 jetamol. So this is how we have to prepare the bill of quantities using the BSR 2018. So that's it about uh, the today's lecture.